everyone, and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing one of my favorite color combinations, at least it has been recently, at least in the past it was before rotation happened, but Golgari. I love Golgari, and I love that the different style of it has come out and has taken the meta in terms by storm and actually is a very good viable threat and win condition. In the Innkeeper's Talent, the main focus on this card is get it to that bottom mode where we can put double the amount of counters on a permanent and a player which works really really well with Varaska with the bottom ability so Varaska enters at six gets double to 12 and then we can minus nine which would try to put nine poison counters on our opponent and then this says double the amount of counters put on a player as well so our opponent will then instead of getting nine we'll get 18 and then we only need 10 poison to win the game Outside of that, Innkeeper's Talent does act as a very versatile card for our deck. With the Cavern Bat coming in on turn, turn two, we can take an important card, say like a Shock, for example, or anything that can remove it from the battlefield. We play Innkeeper's Talent on turn three, plus level it up. We put a counter on our Bat, plus it now has Ward 1. And now we have a Flying Lifelink 2-2 with Ward 1 that hits our opponent. And then next turn, we put another counter on it. Now it's a 3-3 with Ward 1 and everything like that. And it becomes really, really hard to remove and actually a very good life-gaining threat for us. And same kind of goes for the Mosswood Dread Knight. It almost dodges cut down, but with the extra counter, it does. Plus, it has Ward. So your opponent has to then use a go for the third. That's going to cost them three mana to get us off the battlefield. And nothing feels worse than them doing that. And then allowing us to recycle it or like lightning striking it or whatever. And then we can recycle it and go from there. And then it's also an interesting way to protect our Planeswalkers. Planeswalkers have loyalty counters on them. So Innkeeper's Talent will then give them ward. But also buffing a card like Glissa to where it doesn't die to lightning strikes and things like that is very key. And the more counters on this means the more creatures your opponent has to block with. Which eventually and adjacent says they can never block this thing. They can only do jump blocks and that is fine with us. So outside of that, we're going to go ahead and hop into the game. So I've... This deck's been around for a little bit. It's really fun to play. I enjoy playing it, and the kind of win to loss ratio is always typically high when I play this deck as well. So I just kind of wanted to play a really solid deck in the Mythic Ladder today. So with that said, I hope you all enjoy. And if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. Let's head out there to see how many times we can combo some people. Uh, yeah. I mean, we have a couple of pieces. This is the only card uncastable. It's my one of, my special one of here. Land past past the past um against this match weirdly enough i like playing a three two because they're full of removal spells so getting them out early is really nice it's absent they're mine they could have exile effects combat womp womp um this one liliana I have a feeling that this card is really bad. An interesting feeling. What do you have? Like. This thing? This is my home, and I don't More information for me. And a discard? All right, so the reanimator, they wanted me to make them discard. That's fine. That's what they wanted, Chet. They're like, I got a vein ripper and I want I want to bring it back. Um, interesting. Gix command seems bad. Cycle here. All right, Innkeeper's talent. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of Gix here. I'll take a look see we have it oh that's mine and then this does return target online permit to his hand that's a little tough that's a little tough i'm not gonna lie that sucks mm -hmm. return target creature card from the graveyard by gift promise that creature isn't legendary create a token okay you're gonna look here Ooh. Interesting. Super interesting. That I mean you lose this, right? Um. 
you won't be outside. This one? We just hope to find a land at some point. Alright, opponent. This has hex proof. I'm gonna ult it, by the way. Never mind. Uh, well, no, I'm ulting it. I would like to uh, target you. Um, two, two, and that seems good. You pick. Get your multicolored lands, or you get singleton colored lands, and your pickle lock ranks there. Interesting choice. Here we go. You have a, you have a discard. Table passage, sure. They have a ton of cards too. And no matter what color they get here, it enters tap, so. Sure. And we get to do the combo. And just like that, we minus on them and we give them 18 poison. Oh okay. yeah, game one, knocked it out of the park. Everything went well. Opponent goes first, plenty of removal, a threat if it's not that way. Brass in hand, that's one piece of the puzzle. Am I the only one whenever I say piece of the puzzle that actually thinks of the card pieces of the puzzle? Is that just me? Is that me chat? Uh-huh, a blue black poison? Or is this just for death touch? I think it's just for death touch, okay. Um, or maybe it's Demir. I have no idea. Let's pass. I could play this 3 2 and block, but. Op. Then we go for the Liliana next turn. You have two Terra Sunders. Huh? Yep. All right. There's the innkeeper count, which is, which is a thing. Uh, minus. No more distractions. I've ran into the mirror in so long and in back to back games or not back to back games, but like I'm running into like green black a ton now for some reason. How many moss was until your moss and I'm going to not finish that sentence. I think I'm not. Nope. Not me. All right, Mr. Tyvar, you got a man of dork. Mm. Mm. Okay. Anger Bloom can do some stuff. It can destroy target artifact, enchantment, or proliferate. All right, all right. We do hit a land, which is really nice. Um, now I can double Mosswood here, and then plus getting rid of third Mosswood probably. Mosswood number one. Mosswood number two. Uh, plus here. Uh, Liliana in play is probably the more devastating thing that we have going on here. They have to decide between their two gems in hand. Probably two rather fine cards. Isn't it kind of sad that we've only gotten this Planeswalker in like one time? It was a funny walker, right? Ooh, spicy card. That card's hard to beat, but we do have the answer. Um, it's like death touch and all these other nonsense abilities, but. How we feel on opponent? Huh? Combat time? Combat time? Yeah, I mean. Double block here seems good. And then they're probably going to look to pick up that. Is it, is it two or three? I'm at a two. Okay. Sure. I mean, I'm willing to take two draws here. Oh, really? The canker bloom? Because you know what you're against. This little guy. Okay. Sure. I will cycle one of these first. Yeah, I have my own glissa. Nice. Here. 
here. I'm done here. Fine. Well, this is really good, so we're not allowing it to happen. Most likely this last card's a Tyvar, if I had to guess. You keeper's talent, sure. Anger Bloom. Target creature. Okay. That's a 4-3, by the way. Um This could pop an enchantment. Alright, so we play it first. It has first strike and death touch, so the Kanker Bloom can't block. Or can't attack. Like, we have it covered, regardless. They are Vraska plus land away. What did you draw? Both of us uh, playing four land only games. Both believe in the four lander. Especially with their restless cottage in play. They love four lands. Just ask him about it. Sure. Uh huh. I mean, Glissa has to attack, right? Yeah, this is fine. Like, it's not great. Like, I'm not pumped about them making all these treasures, but also, like... I don't know what they necessarily do. Like, if they draw it, they draw it. Like, at the end of the day, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. This isn't pumped at all, so they need five mana to do that. And if they double pump that, they're getting the rest. Yeah. Sure. This has ward one. And it's huge. So that's a problem. Um cut down does not answer that. Um show me your Vraska, sir. Wow, what a draw, by the way. What a draw. Um, they had to block Glissa, so I can swing with the shieldred. I know it's weird to say, but this is like, sometimes this is math as a player, you kind of have to spot. Um, by the way, um, as weird as that is to say, because if you notice, like, if you know why they can't, Proliferate? I guess you proliferated my poison, right? And that's pretty good for you. So let's play this down. And watch him rip it off the top. Right, chat? Does it count if I lose to the combo, but my opponent plays it? When does it count? Kidding. Uh, we've only seen one, so it is a likely draw. They're through the top 20, and they probably play 4 2, so. Um, we do kind of have lethal on board. Oh, Terra Sunder. Nice. Um, we have a lot of damage. Liliana, I don't know how to tell you this. Not that great. I uh, hear seven. And the five. Absolutely. Knows sure. In turn. Me. You rip it this time. I'm waiting for the good game to pop up. Last chance, last effort. We have double lethal on board, and they do not draw it. Even a Liliana makes things really complicated. But the funniest part about a Liliana is even if they play it and alt it, we just end up getting to keep one of our creatures, whatever pile it happens to be. We just keep a creature. And we sack everything else. It doesn't matter because they're at three. We go first and we get to start off with a turn one to rest into Mosswood plus go for the throw. And we have a Vraska. Nice. Nothing better than just like having a loose goose in the hand, you know? Let's see it. Interesting. I guess I take like the only thing I actually care about. Like this is this is actually incredibly annoying. 
like round breaker is super annoying when it comes to like getting value on me but i think i take i guess like i don't have a plane for i'm gonna take the realm i think that value card is something that we would actually run into problems with um we'll barrel this it's like the thing about vraska right is like when we play vraska more often than not it's just ulting and winning so it doesn't matter if they kill it sure so things playing out kind of the way we want wow that's a little tough draw because i'd love to establish that but we do need to hit lands i played an entire last game with my other golgari opponent where only four mana was kind of our primary uh function let's go for it they might have a counter spell or a shielder's edict or something uh we pass plus we have to go for the throw for the shielded when they play it on curve here you need to find a terra sunder i think we're gonna see shielded obviously one of these lands is coming in i see shielded play land play land trying to get to this virtue so we need to find an answer for that here go ahead and pop that right away the rest good hopefully we find a land we miss Huh. Tough. Let's just replay it back out. Like I said, we're on we're four land Andy today. Uh we can always the rest. Look for something. There's that. This is what I'm talking about being super annoying. It's cause they're gonna accelerate their mana so much. There goes the lands. We do find one though. Um that's an artifact. Not really a whole lot I can do about it. Do I glissa and bat them, I guess? Yeah, I'm down with that. That. We have to take this. We crack here. Um, grab a forest, I guess. Um, Shieldred's Edict's a little like awkward for him, so I guess I'll just play the Glissa. I'll just sack my Mosswood in response. They're hoping to probably rip and land naturally so they can just play the virtue. Ooh, a little tough. Yeah. That's tough. That's tap. <laughs> hey, Terra Sunder. Can I beat a virtue over a Terra Sunder? I think so. Isn't that wild? That I think I could beat virtue instead of Terra Sunder? Or instead of this realm. There's like 10. They seem to be playing some cheesy stuff with it. We got 5, 6, 7, 8. I guess I go to combat. You know what we're sacking here. Yeah. We don't have to cycle this until next turn anyway. Uh, draw a card. It's on land. How much is this? 10? 1, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plus activation. Here. I have a couple go for the throats and stuff like that. So I think... I think I'm just Terra Sundering this. But I guess I can wait now. I don't want to wait pop this we just i think have to find the other terra sunder but also i get to play this vraska this is going to come in bring what back fieldred i don't really care what that brings back it'll only bring back creature can bring back glissa i can make him treasures i can go for the throat him. the rest is fine but like not fine at the same time also this is an enchantment i don't know if they realized that i forgot I'm just going to blow it up with Glissa. I don't know why I tanked for so long for. My bad, chat. I forgot Glissa just answers in jam. I knew that was an artifact for so long. I was like, Glissa can't answer that. Like, that sucks. But, no, it's really good, actually. All right, never mind. We're fine, chat. Everything's fine. We're, we're good. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> oh, boy. What a draw opponent.
What a draw. My opponent's nuts. Insane chat. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. I don't think I'm fine, but I don't feel fine. I thought it was just over. But I lied, chat. It's not over. What's your play, dude? Man. People forget how that works all the time. Uh, I will minus here. Oh, and it has no abilities, so the sacrificing doesn't happen. Uh, move to combat. Uh, back here. That down to one. I hit them down to two. I could have drawn, look for like a shielded or something, but I'm good. Plus, I guess the rest. Hey, what do you have, opponent? Here. You know what these cards are. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. That's a tough way to go out. Good game, opponent. That was an insane draw. I was I was going straight to it. I was like, wow, they hit a breeze, I'm dead here. <laughs> like I wanted to keep on just like this, and I think the answer is yeah. Yep. Wait, maybe. Maybe chat. Chat, maybe. Maybe it's Boros. Maybe it's Boros, chat. Ah, it's mono red. <laughs> I still have. Yeah. Get in there. Get in there, boss. Those are things with things and things. Manifold mouse. Like annoying, but not for like slick shot reasons. So I guess I take the shock and then they'll play Swiss Spear Monster Rage. How I assume this is gonna happen. It could be really aggressive, and it looks like that's what they're gonna do. Play Slick Shot Lightning Strike, my deep cavern bet, which puts their slick shot like super vulnerable for the turn. Which is interesting. I'm not not like sold on this plan but i get it uh the rest i can then take the monster rage which is pretty sick um yeah so it's the rest play moss wood here yeah we just take this and we play here and then i can tear asunder kick it get rid of the slick shot and then maybe block these things i have no idea they can obviously shock this out of the way, but most likely should play Swiss Spear, shock this out of the way, get in for damage, whatnot. But they go for Manifold Mouse. Sure. It only can target mice, so that's why you see it be a little bit weird. Ugh, Gliss is so good. Gliss doesn't care. This is like the Honey Badger of the Wild West, you know? I think I have to hold Terra Sunder, though. I just think I have to. With this shock being so weird, I think I have to threaten a block. And like, Lissa could be shocked and then first striked with it, but it still has first strike, so it would trade off. No matter what, as long as Glissa makes contact, it's going to kill it, but it's just interesting. It is just interesting. It's just Swiss Spear. So we're going for shock total value here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Nothing? 
here no way we don't go for the shock there but i guess with as much mana as i have open it's a little scary tap lane a little tough their hand being so slow is it not is it not to play innkeeper level it level it and hope to god i get there Can I survive the amount of turns that it takes to do that? I don't I think the answer is no. I think I have to play this Glissa. Like I'm more realistically about to play a Vraska to minus on a thing than anything else. And then just use Vraska as like an overall plus some counters. Still not using that shock, by the way. They might have to hold it to get rid of this glissa missing a land making their turn significantly harder than it needs to be like if they had a third land i feel like we'd already be dead this is why i argued could we go for the innkeeper's talent there's a lightning strike sure so are we attacking here but now they're tapped out so now it's like is it worth trading i'm not sure they haven't attacked yet to this point and they choose not to attack regardless okay sweet so now I get to play this, level it, and that puts a counter on my Mosswood, which now also has Ward. So it's out of shock range, and now Lightning Strike can't remove it anyway. And then I can maybe pump it next turn, make it huge. Um, and then the Vraska can just kind of do what Vraska does. Maybe. Um, again, so vulnerable here. land is fine here all right we've lived up to this point i don't know is this the time for them to draw a land they are almost 15 cards deep on two lands but they play roughly 18 um so it is very possible that that happens i mean we saw where i was i play 25 and I was stuck on four through my top like 25 it happens especially in best of one with spear and a shock okay maybe a monstrous rage we're blocking like we don't we do not care no matter what happens I'm throwing a block on one of these double strikers I there's zero chance that I don't even if they monstrous rage it we just hope Okay, I think that means we win. Somehow surviving against red. All I'm saying is if this was my diamond opponent, I'd have been dead. We hit him with 18 poison when we get there. And the reason I'm saying that is because I felt like I felt like in diamond my opponents always had it for whatever reason. That that time like man was our opponent stack just they didn't lose the game their deck lost them that game when it goes first this hand seems keepable you have this tap lane which is like slightly annoying but we do get to play the mosswood and we can take the turn off mm. talked about how red should have beat me up last game and it looks like they're coming they're coming to collect on their former red player um Two two when it dies, not necessarily a big deal. That kind of sucks. Monster Rage is the best card. Who would have thought? Monster Rage, best card. No way. Um, our Moss was gonna jump in front of one of these trains and absolutely get trucked. I respect it. I respect just doing this. By the way, how many times have you played against Red and they'll still just go to combat and act like they have they feel like you're gonna have an interaction. We do need an untapped source for this Liliana or we're really in trouble. This is plus two O, which gives three toughness and then any other spell makes them survive. So I guess like realistically, I should do it on this one. Cause if it does happen to like trade, I want the equipment off the creature and where they have to re-equip it. If this Swiss spear had three toughness already, I would do it the opposite way. Uh huh. Give me the second monster trade you drew. No. Oh, I'm sure they make a tutu, but the equipment's gone. I'm pretty pumped about that. Find something. Vraska, not. <laughs> mm -mm. 
Uh, we'll play our other three too. We basically need this Mosswood to trade and then our Liliana to minus on their other creature and then for our opponent to get deck checked and caught for cheating or something. I don't know. Two lands again. Yep. Uh oh. Looks like they're gonna sack it anyway, so I'm just gonna block here. Like it. That just screamed to me that they were gonna throw it in the bin anyway, because they're getting a 2 2. But. Sure. I think I'm just dead. Uh, only drawing lands here, too, has not helped. Could have played the other cottage, but that's fine. All right, show me your last good card. <laughs> Off you go. If I was at five, I'd argue to potentially like wait, but yep, there it is. They can just equip and we lose and they have a spell in hand. They haven't hit a land this entire game. So no point sticking around. They got it. Um, putting this first is our hand. I'm fine with it. They all especially here. Now I'm fine with it. This hand isn't like, dude, oh my god, arena, please. I don't need to play mono red eight times in a row. <laughs> like, like, I understand it's like the majority of the ladder, but please, dude. I just figured playing it twice in a row that I, I wouldn't run into it again, but why well, think? Is this an artifact? No, okay. Sure, dude. Did I find removal? I find a deep cavern bat, which kind of counts. Like doesn't count, but kind of counts. Uh, Might of the Meek, I guess. Hey, get it. It's the only spell. Most likely, we're probably going to see Scamp uh, be sacked to hit this Deep Cavern Bat. But I'm going to make them sack it. Like, I'm not going to do it for them for free. Especially when we have the um, Innkeeper's Talent. They can buff this Deep Cavern Bat. God, what a that's a weird play at that point. I don't even know if I'd sack it for sure Yeah But um, Oh, well, we know they got prowess so here I guess I got a plus on their hand, I guess. Maybe plusing is actually better. Are they like guaranteed to draw another card? I've always hated so now they're going to ha guarantee I have a spell. This could be a dead card technically. And then like... Yeah, now they got way more looks. Honestly, plusing might have been better. That's weird to think about. Whatever. Luck favors the foolish after all. That work. Oh, okay. Nice. What's the last card? Lands? Lamb this thing. This one? It could be a Witch Stalker Frenzy, I guess. Land? Oh! Get! Get! Might have did it. Um. I just saved the terrace under, I guess. Um, I'm going to try to close the game. This is seven damage and then next turn it could potentially die. Yeah, I'm holding up terrace under. I almost, I almost punted it. Almost punted it, chat. Yeah. Sick. Oh, bro. I thought I was so dead. <laughs> like, I'm out about all the uh, mono red I could take. Uh, you know, typical arena. You'll play, you'll play a little bit, and then eventually you just run into a pocket of red players. It's like they're all in a Discord call, and they're like, instead of like a, hey, we're going live notification, it's just like, hey, everybody, go wreck the arena client, you know? Like, everybody, everybody go out and play. <laughs> like, I swear, when I play against red, it's like guaranteed to be the next match as well, especially if I win. It's always them on to play. They got to avenge their brethren, you know? 
But with that said, I mean, his deck still remains good. I don't have a ton to say about it. It's cool. I went down on a Miasma. Miasma. And then I put in a extra Terra Sunder. With so much Boros in the meta, I like playing Terra Sunder a little bit more. Just because you do have to answer Urbath Forge or you do have to answer the uh, Saga. Plus, even Control decks are playing it. The Terra Sunder finding a lot more value than it previously did. Plus, we can also kick it. And we're one of the decks that can actually afford to kick it. And then exile thing in general which actually came up a couple times today just a real uh just a real good Vraska's contempt you know but other than that i mean this is the list i've been running it's been winning a lot more than losing so that's felt great we are on 25 lands in this or 26 lands so that game i was stuck on tw stuck on four arena we got to talk about it but i got i got a little goofy today a little loose um but i said Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.